Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, August 16th, 2023. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. We have a new moon this very Wednesday, uh, so nothing to see. Um, not much to see on the sun either. Most of the big sunspot complexes have rotated away and we got a little bit of stuff in the northern hemisphere, but not much. Looking at drought, a month ago, we were completely drought free. Two weeks ago, sorry I missed a week because of all the school setup stuff I had to do. We had drought sneaking back into the Four Corners quarter of the state and it's just a little worse this week. Shows you, even though we've been in the 90s and really hot, uh, we are so well hydrated <laughs> uh, uh, hydrologically that the rest of the state is still completely drought free. Looking nationally, drought's gotten a little worse where the heat has been the highest across the southern states from Arizona to Texas. Uh, smoke, we still got plenty of fires going on in Calif California. Well, well, there is one, uh, but Canada and a uh, heavy amount of smoke coming down and we're right on the edge of it. So little shifts uh, in the direction of the wind will bring in haze and poor air quality and then a little shift and we might see everything clear up. Looking the last seven days, things have been pretty dry. We did get a scattering of showers over the drought area, not enough to change anything. Some good amounts again with thunderstorms tracking over the north east and eastern part of the state. And if you go back to my last report um, two weeks ago, a lot of water up here. So you can see why we are drought free, but also some good amounts, half inch, inch in spots down here. So the western side of the state is finally getting some summer rain. Looking at our animation for severe weather climatology going through June and July, you can see it's really decreasing pretty quickly. Here's the third week of August. And yeah, we, sh we really should see the hail stop uh, happening. And, um, and it looks like it, that is exactly what's happening. Looking at severe weather forecasts, it's up here uh, around the Great Lakes in Minnesota. Just a little chance of convection this afternoon on Wednesday. Same thing, western state. This is the summer North American monsoon, uh, bringing a chance of thunderstorms. They're rarely severe. And then if you go to Friday, the moisture kind of covers the entire state. So looking at the future forecast map for Wednesday, we have the Intermountain South Rockies and West, in the Great Basin area, getting some storms. A little bit more to the north, a little bit um, further north in, in the mountains in the Great Basin. And then for Friday, uh, some potential for heavy flooding rains around the Grand Canyon, and we get some storms up towards Denver in the northeast part of the state. This is the type of pattern that can help with our only existing drought. You can see temperatures are already dropping. We expect high 87 to 86. So this week of mid 90s is quite a bit above normal. Low 58 down to 56. You probably notice it's staying darker longer in the morning and starting to get darker earlier in the evening. So we're making the uh, seasonal shift. Very small storm chances on the ensemble until we get to the end of the forecast period, 10 days out. So here's what it looks like in the water vapor satellite image. Low over here, we get some moisture coming up from the Gulf of California, the Pacific, and the Gulf of Mexico. Really the only notable feature, because this is a summer pattern, is I'll take a look forward at uh, fr Friday night. You can see the big high here. So this is the ridge that's been baking the southern states and it's really kind of dominating the center part of the nation for a while here. But the rotation around it brings southerly equatorial moisture up towards everything in the west. We also have a um, tropical storm future storm coming up, uh, Hillary. We'll take a more look closer look at that. Uh, so Friday with the high being here, you can see the precipitatable water uh, flowing on up. So let's put this in motion. The ridge is right over us now, so we're almost touching 100. As we end the week, it shifts over to Oklahoma area. 
here comes the tropical system brushing the Baja this could bring some significant water into Southern California and then up across that state the high is now over sort of the Missouri area big south, south flow southwest flow over the west it's kind of building back by the Saturday August 26th of the week and a half from now and it's just still kind of sitting over there so it goes to our east and puts us in the monsoon flow with temperatures we do have a cold front coming down on the eastern side of the high and out west this is the cooling due to the moisture with the tropical system Hillary coming up and we're just kind of baking in between staying above normal but you can see all that arching up into Canada even so let's take a look at precipitatable water this is how much uh, above normal and real greens and blues are way above normal and browns are below normal amounts of atmospheric moisture here comes Hillary so we kind of get missed it's, but look at all that over California Nevada into Oregon Idaho Montana Western Montana and then the moisture comes in for us by the end of next week. So you saw in the ensemble there was an increase in moisture. It's a lot of moisture uh, coming to the west. I think it's a remnants of another tropical system. Sometimes these go out towards Hawaii and travel away. Sometimes they get dragged in to the westerlies. For dew point, there's not much to show here because we have a ridge over us kind of suppressing convection. We are in the uh, lower 50s upper 40s most of the time so th there is a good amount of moisture here's you know ridiculous dew points with the tropical system the, we're kind of in the dry area as the moisture goes up and over the, through the northern Rockies and then by the end of next week you can see yeah lots of surface moisture coming in we start to see low to mid 50 even upper 50 dew points so there's I think I saw 60, 60 for a moment. So we should see next weekend a notable change in the weather. So when it comes to the time here, actually convection and thunderstorms, they're more in the western slopes in the upper mountains, higher mountains. Few things are drifting off onto the plains. It's not a lot because that massive amount of moisture up into the west we're in the dry into Wednesday, a little bit of stuff happening. The logo is all the way up into Canada there. <coughs> I see the next old system. And by the end of next week, you can see thunderstorm coverage really does pick up again. So over the next five days, where we have drought is the best chances of precipitation. Over the next 10 days, look at that. It's really one to two inch rain amounts there and in the northern mountains. So we are going to remain above normal for the next seven days, uh, getting very close to 100 on uh, Wednesday, and really staying pretty hot. Chances of uh, precipitation kind of pick up Friday, Saturday, but it's not a big chance. Just keep an eye on the western sky. This is probably a good time to get your roof uh, replaced with the dry conditions and lack of severe weather in the outlook. Take a look at Hillary. It's here Wednesday. It's located... Uh, uh, south of Mexico and it's expected to go up become a hurricane by 1 p.m. Sunday and then fall apart as it uh, hits colder water and land in Southern California so this could be you know, mudslides and um, big floods and stuff like that so keep an eye on the news um, they might be getting more than they can handle so Longmont leader and Broomfield leader for uh, local news this has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth Keep looking up.